a cow is making milk or growth or, or, or all the products when they are lying down chewing cud. Not when they are walking, not when they are going to the river, and not when they are pulling at grass. Because that effort of pulling at grass consumes a lot of energy. Na kama hata ulikuwa peana energy ya kutosha inawacha deficit. Because inaweka na inatumia kufuta na kufuta na kufuta na kufuta. Sasa ile energy ambayo ingeenda kwa growth ama production inaenda kutengeneza inatumika katika kule kufuru kufuta. We advise as much as possible ngombe akatiwe nyazi. Hata kama ni kikuyu grass kama hii ambayo tuko nayo hapa. Hiyo kikuyu grass inaweza kukatwa na sikol uiweke ngombe mahali pamoja ngombe akisimama pale unaweza kukata hiyo na ukichanganya na potato vine sama kitu kama hiyo ngombe akipick hivi ana pick na ku hivyo hivyo continuously for 45 minutes atakuwa amejaza tumbo sasa atoke hapa aende akunywa ma, maji arudi alale chini akiuka baada kama saa moja au saa mawili atoke hapo aende akunywe maji arudi akae chini akiuka so that aweze kukunywa maji ya kuto ya kutosha na aweze kupata nafasi ya kuruminate because that is a very important component lakini ukituma ngombe wako aende ajikatia nyazi mwenyewe hivi hivi anafaa aende kujikatia nyazi kwa nyazi ambayo iko about 7 inches high ndio iwe rahisi kwa ulimi kushi na kushika na kufuta pamoja na meno lakini ikiwa less than that even for 8 hours of continuous pulling hawezi kupul chakula cha kuto cha kutosha two in order to enable ngombe wako aweze kukula chakula na kitoshe vizuri na kikue kizuri inafaa hicho chakula kiwe slightly chopped ngombe akichukua chakula hivi na kimepatana ni mshipimishipi hivi anapata anachukua muda ku, kuilainisha ndiye aingize because it's long, long like this inabidi ajaribu kuilainisha he is still using energy that they would have used to convert into production unataka ile energy let them use as little as possible so that they will be enough lakini ile ya ku it really still drains part of what you are trying to say ukitaka kujua kama ngombe kweli anatumia stress na anatumia energy kujaribu kujilisha enda ukifika kwako weka mkono chini ya nyazi hivi inama weke mkono hivi kisha ufuru ufute nyazi hivi na unafaa ufute nyazi hivyo around 55 times in one minute ndio ufikie capacity ya ngombe mzuri mzuri just do like this na unaweka na unaweka na unaweka one minute usikie utasikiaje mwili that one minute utakuwa umechoka ikiwa utachoka kiwango hicho kwa dakika moja saa moja je masaa mawili je saa up to 8 hours je utasikiaje Now that is what drains our can our animals the same resources they would have used to give us production in all the five aspects. Anybody honestly look at it and see how can you make it easier for your cow. If you are a farm manager, how can you arrange in such a manner that ngombe atawekewa chakula mahali Within 40 minutes to so 40 45 50 minutes ngombe amejaza tu tumbo so aende akai as the process of ya kuchuka na kuminate that should actually bother you and you find a solution to that you have found a solution to the production you have found a solution to grow you have found a solution to the production you have found a solution to uh more production from your daily or even daily
cow manufacture milk cows grow meat and reduce reduced cow dung when they are lying down chewing hard. They, they, they should lie down for about 14 to 16 hours in a day. That leaves them about how many hours of, of starting to eat, playing a little bit and doing others. 8 to 10 hours. Look at The animal should actually spend two-thirds of her time chewing cars. If you want to know whether you have managed properly a farm, if you want to know whether you have done well as a farm owner or a farm, as a farm manager, after you have fed your animal, you look around, how many of them will lie down to cut? 10 minutes after eating, 20 minutes after eating. Is there a time when you walk to your place where your animals are like this and you find nearly all of them, if there are 10, about 9 or 8 are all lying down. Is it a routine thing? Is it something that you can be duplicating every day so that you can say every time from 9 or from 8 to 10, my animals usually are lying down doing cut. Can you say every time from two to four, my animals are always lying down chewing? Can. Can you say every time from six up to around midnight, my animals are lying down chewing? Can. Can you say from maybe uh, midnight to maybe 4 a.m., my animals are always lying down chewing? Can. If the trend is predictable, it means the feeding program is predictable. It means there is an element of management in that farm. But if there is no duplication of certain behaviors that signal what could have happened to the animals, then every day is a new day in your farm and every day is a gambling and therefore, you can't be in control of milk production on your farm. You can't be in production of fertility. You can't be in control of fertility. You can't be in control of growth. You can't be in control of meat production. It actually means you don't have a system and your activities are not predictable. And that is why when faith goes to the cooperative, or when milk comes to the cooperative, there would be no very predictable milk supplies. Today, 10, 10 liters lower. Tomorrow, normal. The other day, 20 liters more. Because every farmer is as unpredictable as their animals will be unpredictable.